John Rawls, Theory of Justice. Look, before telling you what is John Rawls' Theory of Justice, first you know that justice is the concept of justice is as old as the Platonic idea. The concept of justice is as old as the Platonic idea and how Plato defined the justice. So the concept of justice is as old as the Platonic idea and how Plato defined the justice. And look, for Plato, balance, harmony, proportion, Plato said that justice means balance, harmony, proportion. See, balance, harmony, proportion, balance means fair balance, where harmony, where proportion, this balance is always there in nature. So Plato says that there has always been a balance in the nature. Therefore, therefore, there must be harmony in society and in body too. There may be, there must be a harmony in the society and body too. And look, in a society where few are rich and other are poor, this is an example of imbalance. Balance means, see, poverty is an example of imbalance. Exploitation is an example of imbalance. So whenever we are talking of balance in society, it means what Rousseau very famously said there, even rich are not allowed to buy the poor and poor should not be forced to sold them out. So therefore, you know that there must be balance in society, balance in body because there is a balance in nature. But one thing is important, Platonic idea of justice was a moral. Moral means it was dependent over the conscience of the people. So the Platonic idea of justice was a moral which depends over the conscience of the people. Conscience of the people. But look, in modern times, in the modern age, see, idea of moral justice is still relevant. But one thing is important, apart from the idea of moral justice, now you know that some legal and social mechanism is also preferred for maintaining balance in society. Nobody can ignore the importance of moral justice. But you know that the notion of moral justice, you know that depends upon the person, depends upon the conscience of the person and regulating the conscience of person is not an easier task. So therefore, let us talk about some pragmatic concept of justice. Thereafter, I will tell you roles. So because before telling you roles, some basics are important. So let us consider over some pragmatic notion of justice and wherever we are talking of justice it means objective is same what was told by Plato remember objective is same maintaining harmony balance proportion maintaining harmony proportion that means justice but look now if you look at in contemporary age there's two concept of justice one is procedural First is the procedural concept of justice and second one is substantive. Procedural concept of justice and second is substantive concept of justice. Procedural concept of justice means legal justice. Procedural concept of justice means legal justice. Same rule and regulation should be applicable over each and every one. Same rules and regulations, same rules and regulations should be applicable over each and every one. In other words, what is procedural justice? Equality before law. Equality before law. One person, one vote. So procedural justice include 
legal justice and political justice too legal justice and political justice too and political justice means one person one vote what procedural justice means if procedures are fair outcome is bound to become fair one thing is important therefore neo liberals believe in the procedural justice and even the very famous scholars in logic what logic logic concept of justice is known as theory of entitlement logic concept of justice is known as theory of entitlement theory of entitlement because you know that neo liberals simply believe neo liberals simply believe that see efficiency and capability is important and each and every one should you know that free to attain and obtain their goals in life it means and therefore logic say entitled means see each and every one is entitled to get more and more money provided that if it is obtained through fair means if it is obtained through fair means so entitled means whatever we are getting right now we are entitled to get so therefore if somebody sachin tendulkar is entitled to get the audi and the poor is entitled to get begging that means entitlement theory because see each and every one is free to attain in his life according to his capacity or according to his efficiency so in logic simply says that even each and every episode therefore logic is a new liberals and new liberals basically believe in that state should play the role of an empire and state is a new intelligence and each and every one is free to get anything but one thing is that nobody is allowed to you know that use some unfair means so therefore any person can get you know that the property but not through illegal means only restriction is that and see second concept of justice is substantive concept of justice see the comprehensive meaning of justice substantive means comprehensive concept of justice substantive means social justice and substantive means justice based on need of the people not capability not efficiency justice must be based on the need of the people justice must be based on the need of the people and look therefore social justice simply means distributing social goods social goods underline distributing social goods in the society according to need of the people therefore it is also said that justice is an essentially a quality of distribution justice is always a quality of distribution distribution underline see justice is always a concept of distribution but he in procedural justice distribution is based on capability this distribution based on need justice is always the quality of distribution only difference is that in procedural justice justice is based on distribution is based on the capability efficiency here it is based on need and very interestingly here procedural justice means take care you know that the need of such the see efficiency of sachin tendulkar but substantive justice is speaks for the down trodden section of society too because one thing is problem in procedural justice only the rules are fair but the social economic conditions are unfair because how we can make a fair rule in presence of unfair social economic conditions and they want to make a fair rule with fair social economic conditions too social economic conditions should not be unfair otherwise fair rules become unfair so therefore they want to remove the social economic disparity in society 
antidote that is known as substantive injustice. And what Rawl said that tomorrow onwards, that is all for today. Rest of the part tomorrow onwards. Yesterday, see, I told you the basics of procedural justice and and substantive justice. Basics of procedural justice and substantive justice. You know that in procedural justice, justice means the application of fair rules and fair laws and procedural justice means if rules and regulations are fair outcome is automatically fair the essence of procedural justice means because procedural justice believing same treatment for each and everyone same treatment for each and everyone it means the equality of rules will produce the fair just result or fair just outcome that means procedural justice and look substantive justice means we want to distribute some basic social goods in society some primary social goods in society therefore substantive justice believe that merely existence of same rules and regulation the merely existence of equal rule and regulations can't make society just so these are some basics about the procedural justice and substantive justice but look we are going to start a Rawlsian theory of justice because in Rawls we will use the term procedural as well as substantive justice. Therefore, first I have told you about procedural and substantive justice. Now, let us see what is the Rawlsian concept of justice. See first, John Rawls. Rawls means John Rawls. John Rawls is an American and Rawls is a liberal individualist thinker. I remember <coughs> Rawls is liberal. Rawls is liberal individualist thinker. And you know that whenever we are using term liberal individualist thinker and all liberal individualist thinker emphasize over liberty of individuals. That is uncompromising for a liberal individualist thinker. So look, all liberal individualist thinker emphasize over liberty. So far, liberal individualist thinker, liberty is the most important. Liberty and dignity of individuals. Same time, liberals always believe in constitutional democratic government. Same time, liberals always believe in the constitutional. Liberals always believe in the constitutional democratic government, or in that limited government. Constitution and democratic government means limited government too. So you know that that is a basics. These are the basics of liberal th individualist thinker. So liberals means they always believe in a liberal democratic form of government and for them individual liberty is very important which can't be compromised at any cost. So that is the feature of a liberal individualist thinker. And look, Rawls is not a socialist. He is not a communitarian. He is a liberal. So therefore, by that, you know that, hypothesis, 
we can even guess certain thing about rolesian justice because in the entire concept of rolesian justice even liberty dignity of individuals and democratic and constitutional government these will be the essence because by by nature rolls belong to this liberal individualist tradition and same time rolls was writing in 1970s rolls wrote a very famous book that is known as a theory of justice rolls wrote a very famous book that is known as theory of justice in 1971 1970 means the cold war in europe and united states of america whenever we are using 1970 means cold war it means if there was a cold war between capitalism and communism and even united states was involved in that cold war and same time 1970 was a phase where america was if america was facing the economic problems too america was engaged in the vietnam crisis too so in 1970 was a age where the feminist movement was also becoming important in the united states so in that 1970s rolls was writing and look in that 1970s communist always claim that we can't imagine a justice in american capitalist society so that was the claim of communist you know the communist always said that even justice justice is impossible in a communist society like russia or sorry communist society like united states so therefore that was the environment in which rose wrote his very famous book theory of justice and look how rose propounded his theory of justice let's begin the first dimension of rosean theory of justice let's begin the first dimension of rosean theory of justice in pk amir khan landed on this earth from mars or from moon is it really happen or it was imagination of a director of a movie imagination and look the nature of a director political scientist poet or a moralist same or moralist same so look just like a director of a movie make a hypothesis about something similarly rolls also made a hypothesis for arriving over his principle of justice so therefore beginning with the hypothesis of rolls let's see beginning with the hypothesis what is rolesian hypothesis and you know that rolesian hypothesis is known as the way of ignorance rolesian hypothesis is known as the wheels of ignorance sorry the wheel of ignorance see the wheel of ignorance or the wheel of ignorance denotes two things the wheel of ignorance denotes two things see before telling you the wheel of ignorance see how many times you have attended a birthday party how many times you have attended the birthday party and look imagine about a birthday party where there is more people 
there's more ibn gadri for getting a piece of a cake and the size of cake is very small and the queue is long what do you think what do you think about that opting out it means you you went in a party and you are thinking for opting out in the party see how many of you think that you are going to top this civil services examination i am wishing all the best but my dear friend but ask yourself what you think that at least i should get one seat in the final result then i will take a dip in the river ganges so one thing is very important while describing the veil of ignorance or also describe the basic human nature so let's see what is the basic human nature for all and according to that basic human nature we can understand this concept of veil of ignorance so let's see what is the basic human nature next how rolls define the basic human nature just i'm coming to that i am coming to that see let's what is the veil of ignorance i will tell you but after let's see how rolls defined about human being so first human being are rational and second each and every one wants to maximize his or her his own interest but one thing is he also said that but each individual is not having jealousy towards other each and every one to maximize his own interest but individuals are not having jealousy towards others very interestingly it means and the nature of individual is not like akshay kumar khatron ka khiladi no but rolls is that the nature of individual is that individual always take a least dangerous path least dangerous path underline individual always you know that prefers the least dangerous path see individual always prefer the least dangerous path see that is very interesting it means so therefore whenever we go in party while the queue is long and the size of cake is small so therefore what we think that at least one small piece we should get therefore we can even we can imagine the taste of a cake and therefore what is the least dangerous path we always put ourselves in a worst condition and my dear friends what may be the worst condition for you suppose that in a case in a case you know that in a worst condition you want to see you know that your roll number in the final result of upsc it doesn't matter that where it is printed that is basic human nature and look and i have seen several toppers who qualified the examination and while they were appearing the examination what they said that so i am not sure that what will happen i am not sure that what will happen but at the moment when they topped the exam what is it since my childhood i knew that i knew that i am going to top the examination so my dear friends for rolls this is about human nature rolls basically talk about human nature that in fact we take always a least dangerous path and each and every one want to maximize his own interest but they don't want to harm others they don't want to harm others and therefore according to that human nature now let's consider over that what is the veil of ignorance now in that context in that context of human nature let's see what was said by rolls under the veil of ignorance and again you look veil of ignorance is just like a hypothesis which was once created by hobbes locke rousseau in form of social contract it was a hypothesis and veil of ignorance denotes two things 
be or not aware about we are not aware about our we are not ab- aware about our present status in society we are not aware about our present status in society we are not aware about our present status in society see this is imagine that we have lost the memory but one thing is important we are not aware about the our present status in society what does it mean even amitabh bachchan even for god that he is a superstar of hindi cinema sachin tendulkar in the he lost his memory for some time so therefore even veil of ignorance because see because veil of ignorance means where people or where individuals have lost their memory that they are occupying they are occupying the higher strata in society and look even imagine imagine condition where we have invited all the people belonging to cricket movies you know that and industry politics here in the class see what is wrong in imagination i know that they will not come but just we are imagining that here sachin tendulkar is also sitting along with rani mukherjee and ambani is also sitting and when they are sitting then but nobody knows that ambani doesn't know that he is a top industry of this nation sachin tendulkar lost his memory that he is the best player of cricket in the world and look but one thing is important they does not know their present status in society but one thing they know they are aware of some their psychological needs in society they have forgotten their status not their psychological needs in society it means why i'm saying that they are even they are aware about their psychological needs like like see a person who is living in a village even he know that what is our monthly expenditure for knowing the monthly expenditure there is no need of, there is no need to become the expertise of economics you know that so therefore each and every person knows some psychological you know that some psychological principles in his life but forgot his status and prestige of the society which he got second what is second meaning of veil of ignorance look what is second meaning of veil of ignorance second what what is status person will occupy in future second what is status person will occupy in future what is status person will occupy in future he is not aware about that too what is status the person will occupy in future he is not aware about that too it means these two conditions are known as a veil of ignorance a veil of ignorance means first we do not know that what is our present status in society and we do not know that what will you know that our future status in society and very interestingly in that veil of ignorance in that veil of ignorance even people you know that gather people came together for making the law of justice so in that veil of ignorance 
you know that this is a hypothesis and next point under the veil of ignorance individuals came together under veil of ignorance individual came together for for making individuals came together for making the the principles of justice principles of justice underlying individual came together for making the principles of justice for the future society future society and look therefore rawls says that rawls says that justice is not divine therefore rawls says that justice is not divine but it is the rational choice of individuals rational choice underlying justice is not divine but it is a, a rational choice of individuals it is a, a rational choice of individuals see very importantly rational choice and second for making the principle of justice individuals are entering into a contract for making the principles of justice individual are entering into a contract contract underlying see just like just like the social contract of hobbs and lock just like the social contract of hobbs and lock and you know that even a state and government a state and government was created by social contract according to hobbs and lock similarly so even principle of justice was an outcome of social contract similarly principle of justice was an outcome of social contract but remember but remember this social contract was not real it was philosophical hypothetical theoretical because it was never even it was not really happen but it was a hypothesis and one thing is important when justice was a result of you know that a contract then what was the need of this veil of ignorance because even then what was the need of a veil of ignorance so next setting if justice was the result of a social contract then why there is a need of a veil of ignorance see the question what what we are raising if justice was a result of a social contract then why there is a need of a the concept of veil of ignorance see why there is a need of the concept of veil of ignorance and look i am telling the reason see in a condition where narendra modi is sitting here amitabh bachchan is sitting here reliance is sitting here so and we are also sitting here and look and justice is a justice is an outcome of social contract see can we are capable to engage in a contract with mukesh ambani forget about mukesh ambani if a district magistrate of that particular district come here what we will assume that no no whatever he is saying is always right remember when the people are occupying the different strata and when they are sitting together there can't be a fair deal remember there can't be a fair deal and therefore the veil of ignorance was very important why why for creating level playing field for contract why in that ignorance was very important because first first why for creating a level playing field for creating a level playing field level playing field underlying in order to in order to making in order to making 
the principles of justice in order to making the principles of justice so the level playing field is very important and see therefore you, you got the point why why it is important why he said that each and every one will forget his memory because but again i am saying that they are not they will be aware about their basic psychological principles that what is our need in society each and every one knows that but amitabh bachchan is not aware of the fact that he is a star of hindi cinema rajinikanth rajinikanth lost his memory there is a superstar and see we have already lost our memory because we are ordinary people so what is us to lose so therefore the very famous sentence of rawlsis the very famous sentence of rawlsis justice is fairness therefore the most important sentence of john rawlsis justice is fairness the most important principle of john rawlsis justice is fairness and fairness underlying what does it mean by fairness if justice is fairness what does it mean fairness see it means it means each and every person play an equal role equal role underlying each and every person play an equal role in the formation of each and every person play the equal role in the formation of the principles of in the formation of the principles of justice in the formation of principles of justice and look why justice is fairness because nobody is capable to influence others and look look this is a sign of a liberal individualist thinker because it means justice in making the principle of justice the role of each and every one is equally important nobody is capable to influence others so therefore that veil of ignorance was important and you know that you know that in absence of that veil of ignorance fair principles were not possible and why justice means fairness why justice means fairness next why justice means fairness if rules and principles are fair if rules and principles are fair if rules and principles are or fair outcome will automatically just outcome will automatically become just outcome will automatically become just and look so this is reason why the he created veil of ignorance so again i am saying that because he justice is not an outcome of the people belonging to wealthy section of society no even justice is a principle which is crafted by each and every one because being a liberal and individual thinker rawls think that each and every one is equally important for the formation the principle of justice and therefore the next heading the question arises that what was the inspiration of rawls this is first veil of ignorance second what was the ideal it means what was inspiration what was the ideal for john rawls look the rawlsian principle of justice was inspired by rawlsian principle of justice was inspired by a famous german philosopher kant was inspired by the famous german philosopher kant see kant was german philosopher and kant was known for in that he was very punctual in that in his life even even people set their watch when they saw that when kant even went for morning walk people think that no it is now 6 o'clock in the morning when kant even was going for evening walk 
people thought that no now it is 7 o'clock in the evening even that was and he never you know that avoided that he always followed the punctuality but except once once he was reading out even some poetry of a one philosopher satra and then even he even forgot the time and once he even delayed once even you know that he failed to maintain his schedule in life but one thing is also important he was bachelor not married so that is also important and kant kant said one thing is very important kant says that see man is in the in itself the very famous sentence of kant which inspired the entire liberal philosophy kant said that man is man is in in itself kant said that man is in the in itself so look in means objective of our life aim of our life so what is important upsc is in or you are in man is in the in itself it means what is most important in this world we are we are then most important means i so therefore i have decided to appear in upsc then i and look man is in the in itself means man is not for serving others we are not for serving others even therefore what you what does it mean by man is in itself means the dignity of each and every one is equally important when we are saying that man in is in itself means dignity of each and every one is equally important dignity of each and every one is equally important it means see nobody can become servant and nobody can become master even nobody can become master and nobody can become slave so you you can imagine the fact that when we are saying that man is in in itself it means it it you know that believes that the primacy of individual individual is the most important and then a state government society justice this came because individual you know that created that when man is in itself means each and everything is made by man each and everything is made by man even even you know that even some philosopher said that man is a measure of all thing so this shows the primacy and importance of individual first and you know that rawls was inspired by that statement therefore rawls says that rawls says that rawls even repeated the sentence but only words are changed rawls says that see rawls says that self is prior to its end rawls says that self is prior to its end so again i am saying that self means we i self is me and prior means before end means objective and aim of our life so look delhi came first or you came first you came first upsc came first or you came first you came first and therefore justice came first or you came first i came first and therefore therefore self is prior to its in it vindicates the liberal individualistic thought which believe that justice is an outcome of contract among individuals this vindicates that justice is the result of justice is the result of contract among individuals contract among individuals so therefore again it proves that individual is most important therefore you remember what is the most cardinal principles of rawlsian justice dignity of individuals 
what is the most cardinal principles of Rawlsian justice is the dignity of individuals. Cardinal principles of Rawlsian justice is the dignity of individuals. Dignity of individuals. So that was inspiration from Kant. That was inspiration from Kant. And you look in two sentences, even only words are different. Content is same. But see, next heading, Rawls was inspired by Kant, but he criticized someone else. So next, criticism of utilitarian justice. So next heading, Rawls, Rawls criticism of utilitarian or Bentham's utilitarian justice. Utilitarian justice. Look. Utilitarian means Bentham and utilitarians always believe that. See, maximum happiness of maximum number. Because what utilitarian believe that each and everyone try to maximize his own pleasure and they want to minimize their pain. That is the basic principle of utilitarianism. Each and everyone want to maximize pleasure and minimize the pain. So therefore, what is justice? What is justice in society? The pleasure of majority. Isn't it? If each and every one in that want to maximize the pleasure, then what is justice in society? The maximum happiness of maximum number? Pleasure of majority, that means justice. So therefore, see any of you are feeling cold in the class? Cold? Only one person? So we don't care. Don't care. Minority doesn't. Because you don't care. Because look, if majority is happy, we are not going to take care of minority. That is the justice of roles. Sorry. Very sorry. That is justice of Bentham. So Bentham is what said, happiness of maximum number is justice. And that was a drawback of Bentham's concept of justice. And look, suppose that if we are, if we are planning to visit somewhere else, or if we are planning to go on a tour, and majority of we have decided that one or two persons should serve each and every one. This is justice. Because majority are getting the pleasure. But the question is that who will ready to serve others? The question is that who will ready to serve others? And therefore, you know that. Therefore, next, Rawls refuted Bentham's concept of justice. Rawls refuted the Bentham's concept of justice. And he says that, he says that dignity of each and every one is important. Dignity of each and every one is important. And look, the pleasure of majority, dignity of each and every one is important. And the pleasure of majority can't compensate. Pleasure of majority can't compensate the pain of a single person. So, dear friend, I am with you. So, you, you can switch up the fan. So, I am with you. So, I believe in Rawlsian principle of justice. The vice of each and every one is important. The vice of each and every one is important. That is a Rawlsian principle of justice. And look, now, now you can correlate the ideals of Rawls and method of veil of ignorance. In veil of ignorance too, in veil of ignorance too, he accepted the importance of each and every individual, and therefore justice is a principle of social contract, social contract. But look, these are the merely imagination of roles. But next question is that, what is the principle of justice in roles? Next heading. The next question arises that, what is it? Principles of justice 
for roles what is the principle of justice for roles roles is the justice is the first and foremost quality of any society or first and foremost virtue of any society quality of in bracket virtue justice is the first and foremost virtue of any society first and foremost virtue of any society which contains the following elements which contains the following elements which contain the following elements first see each and every individual each and every each and every individual each and every individual will enjoy equal rights of liberty each and every individual will enjoy the equal rights of liberty see that's interesting each and every will enjoy the equal rights of liberty look so therefore even liberty or rights each and every will enjoy the equal, equal rights of liberty it means equal rights of liberty it means look rolls is supporting those kind of rights or liberty which exist in a liberal democratic country so each and everybody enjoy the equal rights of liberty means then what is liberty what are the rights freedom of speech and expression what are the rights freedom of speech and expression freedom of association even a right to conscience so in a just society first and foremost virtue of a just society is liberty or rights so rights is important and each and every one will keep the same amount of rights and look that that is a quality of a liberal democratic society and second 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 social and economic inequalities social and economic social and economic inequalities will be restructured social and economic inequalities will be restructured and remember what i am saying that restructured not it will be eliminated it will not came to an end but social and economic inequality will be restructured in a way which social and economic inequality will be restructured in a manner which you know that which provides you know that e- equality of opportunity equality of opportunity for each and every one equality of opportunity for each and every one and second and which it means social and economic inequalities will be restructured in a manner which provide equality of opportunity for each and every one and second which will be even which will benefit or which will benefit the people occupying or beneficial for the least advantaged least advantaged sections of society least advantaged underline beneficial for least advantaged sections of society least advantaged least advantaged section of society and look these are the basic principles of roles in justice now we are going to explain the each and every line these are three basic principles of roles in justice it means that was an outcome of the social contract which was carried out you know that under the hypothetical condition of veil of ignorance so let's see what kind of a just society may be and before telling you roles i am telling you some simple equation see what kind of just society you want to make forget about roles for time being because what roles says that is very simple 
because but Rawls was a philosopher. So he said in a very complex. He developed his a theory of justice in a very complex way. But the thing is very simple. One thing is important. What kind of just society you want to make? Like first, where only Akshay Kumar, Sachin Tendulkar will get the benefit. Is it an example of a just society? What kind of just society you want to make? Whether you know that a society in which Ammani, Akshay Kumar, Sachin Tendulkar, only they will get the benefit. A second, in a society where only even poor section of society will be taken care of. Only Maji, have you seen the Maji? Only. the poor section of society is taken care of what kind of just society you want to make it means in other words what what kind of just society for you first in a society where efficiency and capability is respected or in a society where the need of each and every one is taken care of because just i want to draw your attention after 1945 and when rolls was writing his book over justice in 1970s at that time one principle of justice applied in soviet union and in soviet union even government claimed that it is going to eradicate all form of social and economic inequality that was the claim of soviet union and second even there was in united states of america where the market economy was there so it means where you want to maintain a just society in a non democratic society or in democratic society second you want to maintain a justice in a in a society where market economy is there or a state controlled economy is there and very simple question is that see how you want to maintain justice in the present indian society Uh, in the present days of liberalization see what what is happening in day to day our economic system is liberal market economy since 1991 we have adopted the market economy but our political system is democratic our political system is democratic so look india is just society or not according to rolls or forget about rolls first you tell there is justice in india or not why there is justice in india so look similarly that is said by rolls so rolls in justice is very simple only words are technical in nature look it means first now i, I want to explain and one thing is important while you are writing analysis is very important rather than only if you are only writing three terms when it is asked for rolls in justice any write the three points it is merely description not analysis analysis means what does it mean by what is significance what lies within that is analysis and analytical writing is very important so let's see first in the first point how we can analyze three principles first in a rolsian just society in a rolsian just society a rights for each and every individual the rights of each and every individual is the most important and primary is most important primary which means which means rolsian justice is only applicable which means rolsian justice is only applicable in a liberal democratic society rolsian justice is only applicable in a liberal democratic society liberal democratic society remember not in a communist society one thing is very clear not in a communist society so rolsian principle of justice can't be applied in a communist society can't be applied in a communist society and it means in a society where liberty is compromised justice can't prevail so rolsian is very firm and this is again we this is again a vital proof that this is again a vital proof that he is a liberal and individualist so for rolsian society if you are looking for justice 
but justice without liberty is an empty we can't imagine just society without liberty and rights but second let's see second second but second second see can you imagine can you imagine any curtailment of liberty in the rolsian system of justice can you imagine any restrictions over liberty can you imagine any restrictions over liberty in the principle of rolsian justice so next point a rol says that individuals liberty can be individuals liberty can be curtailed only for sake of liberty individual liberty can be curtailed only for sake of liberty see look look it means it means sachin tendulkar's liberty will not be curtailed until and unless he is not a taking over empire sachin tendulkar is free to play the cricket but not a taking over empire and even salman khan salman khan is free to become superman in the movies but he is not supposed to kill anyone I, i because see in communist form of government there is no concept of liberty you know that in communism there is no concept of freedom of speech and expression so that's very important and therefore for us remember liberty can be curtailed for sake of liberty because equal liberty for each and everyone is important so therefore one thing is important liberty can't be compromised that actually happens in the communist countries where liberty was curtailed on the name of social economic rights and rolls is an american individualist liberal nc second second important point next what he says that just just i'm coming to that wait i you will get your answer and that then you, after you can ask because just i'm explaining that next social and economic inequality will be restructured again the important point which we are highlighting is restructuring it means one thing is important if you are looking at just society where there will be no inequality that will never happen that will never happen so it means just society is doesn't mean the absence of inequality inequality is bound to exist in a just society so next point what rawls says that what rawls says that inequality is bound to exist in a just society see that's very important inequality is bound to exist in just just society but remember there are two forms of inequality so next he says that there are two forms of inequality there are two forms of inequality and remember two forms of inequality means first what is the first the inequality which benefits for least advantaged sections of society see least advantaged section of society means people living below poverty line simple and second inequality inequality which is not helpful for the empowering of the least advantaged sections of society for the least advantaged sections of society see that's very important that's very important and can you imagine that even look look the rules rules say that because see and look communist want to eliminate each and every form of inequality in society and that never happen rawl says that just society doesn't mean the absence of each and every inequality but just society simply means absence of inequality which is harmful for the people belonging to below poverty line it means it means you know that there is a two forms of inequality look inequality is not a new thing in society and even there was a inequality in society before the independent india too and there is inequality in society after independent or in present society but look there is a basic difference between the earlier inequality and the present inequality look now sachin tendulkar and akshay kumar they are the highest tax payers in india and 
their inequality is beneficial for the down trodden section of society who gets the maximum taxes these kind of people and look when the akbar emperor was powerful it was not beneficial for the least advantage section of society that is the view of rolls so next therefore rollsian principle of justice is known as rollsian principle of justice is known as maximin principle rollsian principle of justice is known as maximin principle maximin is a short form of maximum and minimum rollsian justice is next point what does it mean maximum rollsian justice means distributing the primary goods primary goods in society primary goods underline and look he says that there are two pri- there are two types of primary goods he said that there are two types of primary goods first is natural primary goods like intelligence health and second is second one is social primary goods second is social primary goods like social primary goods like liberty rights property liberty rights property and look these are primary goods and these primary goods will be distributed by the state these primary goods will be distributed by the state and therefore it is understood that rolls is in favor of therefore it is understood that rolls is in favor of welfare state welfare state underline it is understood that rolls is in favor of a welfare state so that's very important look what rolls says that even equality of opportunity means even he said that each and every one will get the same kind of opportunity and while distributing the basic primary goods even a state will ensure that the goods uh, goods will be distributed equally but even the, even these goods may be distributed more for the people belonging to least advantage section of society so even look when we are saying health when we are saying intelligence these are these are even natural primary goods but you look how this is influenced by the socially social primary goods how this is influenced by social primary goods so rolls says that see these primary goods will be distributed in favor of least advantage section of society and look in a very short what is rolls and justice in a liberal democratic society where each and every one enjoy the liberty and the disadvantaged section of society will get the basic facilities for life that is all about justice which is right now practicing across the world but one thing is important it means welfare is more important or right is more important in rolls an example welfare is more important or right is more important so next heading welfare see look in fact you can read the heading the priority principles of rolls you can read the heading the priority principle of rolls priority principle means which one is important which one is subordinate the priority principle of rolls and remember one thing i have told you see a right is a prior one thing i have told you a right is prior to welfare first a right is prior to welfare it means a right is prior to welfare it means see now remember what is more important right or welfare right because being a liberal being an individualist because see a right means same kind of rights and liberty but the meaning of welfare change from ideology to ideology for fascist 
welfare is something else from marxist welfare is different so rawls says that even rawls believe in the welfare state but at the same time he also admitted that a right is always important because on the name of welfare we can't undermine the rights of liberty rights of liberty so right is more important that's very important second point see just i'm asking question efficiency is more important or justice efficiency is more important or justice see why you are in dilemma look in a very beginning i have told you justice is the most important virtue of any society and you are saying efficiency you look rawls is very much concerned about the benefiting of least advantaged section of society and look had he accepted efficiency is more important therefore he never supported the empowerment of the people belonging to least advantaged section of society so remember what is important justice is more important than efficiency because justice is more important than efficiency because rawls wants to empower least advantaged sections of society rawls want to empower the least advantaged section of society but look how he want to empower the least advantaged section of society through maximizing the liberty of others therefore his theory of justice is also known as theory of compensation rawlsian theory of justice is also known as theory of compensation theory of compensation underlying and again again i am again i am reminding you why his principle is maximum maximum means maximum primary goods for the people who are living in minimum condition that is maximum maximum primary goods for the people who are occupying the lowest strata in society therefore maximum minimum maximum primary goods for the people who are in worst condition and again you remember even rawls principle of justice also in principle compensation because see who will compensate akshay kumar who will compensate sachin tendulkar who will compensate the people who are talented efficient capable for the people for the people who are living the least advantaged in a social society but one thing is very important why rawls is so much worry why rawls is focusing so much over empowering the people belonging to the least advantaged section of society what is reason behind that why rawls is so much emphasizing about that can you tell me the reason the question is there that time and again he says that maximum principle maximum benefit for the least advantaged people and again i am saying that he he want to make some compensation no he is not against efficiency remember as far as efficiency and justice is concerned justice is primary he never ignored the efficiency he never ignored the efficiency so one thing is important if you want to define the rawls in justice in short liberty equality of opportunity and welfare of down trodden section of society that is all about justice but again i am asking why rawls is so much concerned as far as least advantaged section of society is there why can, can you relate this uh, yes justice justice for maximum number of people no maximum no maximum no each and every one what get maximum my dear friends this was the reason why he accepted the veil of ignorance because nobody knew that in days to come who is going to become rich see again i am saying that what does it mean by the veil of ignorance nobody knew that he is going to become a amitabh bachchan therefore when they entered into contract each and every one put himself in a worse condition and therefore each and every person took a bet that a person who will be in the below poverty line they will get the maximum benefit because nobody knew that who is going to qualify the examination so therefore irrespective of 
so therefore what is the roles in justice for the aspirant who are preparing upsc examination whether they are qualifying examination or not but at least one house should be allotted for them in delhi and the education should be given free of cost even health there should be even this facility should be available for each and every one so what is roles in justice that is reason remember the law of ignorance therefore he is too much concerned about least advantage section of society because under the law of ignorance nobody knew that what position they are going to occupy in the just society that is reason that is reason so therefore in a very short so justice reason means that each and every one becomes akshay kumar therefore if there is an equality between an ordinary person and uh, uh, mukesh ambani this is not a sign of unjust society and justice simply means even each and every one should get the basic facilities of life as far as basic facilities of life this should be distributed for all but in rest part of life there should be free competition and that is all about justice that is all about justice look what is happening in india today and remember next point is very important remember next point rolls believes in a welfare state but he always supported market economy market economy underline he always supported market economy see remember that is important because he was an american and he knew that because through market economy liberty must be maximized and even the people who are capable who are efficient even in that they will give more and more taxes and the amount of taxes will be spent for the welfare of least advantaged section of society least advantaged section of society that is all about rules and justice next heading next heading rules in justice is procedural or substantive next heading rules in justice is procedural or substantive because see if socialism means maintaining equality in society there is a two way to maintain equality in society first empower the people who are occupying the lower strata and second even snatch the properties from the restriction of society automatically when each and every person will start to reside in huts in delhi each and every person will become equal so let's see even there must be some pragmatic solution there is always a middle path so somehow rolls discovered the middle path but even there is so criticism of rolls there is so criticism too but you know this is the way how we can attain the justice in present society second rolls and justice is procedural or substantive just you can tell therefore i have told the meaning it is procedural or substantive rolls says that his principle of justice Rawl says that his principles of justice is pure procedural. Remember, pure procedural, not only procedural, but adjective is very important. Pure procedural. His principle of justice is a pure procedural. And see, that's very important. Pure procedural means first. What is what does it procedural? First, if you want to write. this prince this principle here rolls also said no no see this is the first priority this will is second so you can't even violate the priority so proof pure procedural means first rights or liberty is the first and foremost the part of justice second his rolsian justice is also known as principle of difference see principle of difference underline and see very important thing is that principle of difference means inequality is bound to exist and 
those kind of inequalities must be removed those kind of inequalities must be removed those kind of inequalities must be removed which is harmful for which is harmful for least advantaged sections of society which is harmful for the least advantaged sections of society so therefore it is known as the principle of difference too because even even there will be inequalities bound to exist we can't remove each and every form of inequality what all said that but even he said that even even he admitted that inequality is necessary for empowering the down trodden down trodden section of society because they will get the taxes they will get the more taxes for welfareing of the people who are occupying the lower strata in society but again next point his emphasis over the least advantages section of society his emphasis over the least advantaged section of society shows that his emphasis over least advantaged section of society shows that rolsian justice is rolsian justice is in fact social justice social justice therefore therefore rolls synthesized therefore rolls synthesized both the principles of therefore rolls synthesize both the principles of procedural justice both the principles of procedural justice as well as substantive justice role synthesize the principle of procedural justice as well as the principle of substantive justice too so look so that is the point role justice is pure procedural because this sequence can't be changed you can't change the sequence this sequence is very important and therefore if you want to if you will say that no in order to welfareing the people we are going to undermine liberty also no not at all not at all this will never happen so therefore because he says that this sequence is intact so you can't change the sequence therefore he relies over the procedure he relied over the procedural justice but because of him thesis of least advantaged section of society his justice is social justice or procedural justice and look he is a liberal scholar but believe in social justice he is not a socialist but believe in social justice because what is social justice distribution of basic minimum goods for the down trodden section of society so look in rolls in justice liberty and equality both synthesize in rolls in justice capability and need you know that taken together and therefore in rolls in what is just society where a efficient person like akshay kumar also live but same time we are taking care of the down trodden section of society and the people who are living in the huts who are living in the lower strata of society that is all about rolsian principle of justice and you can expect even one question even in each and every year from rolls so rolsian principle of justice is very important i mean you can see the previous year question papers too this is rolsian principle of justice but in syllabus is also written he never said that his justice substantive it is scholars when we are analyzing he always said that my justice is procedural not procedural he said the pure procedural because he never he is not ready to change the sequence but look in a sequence what he described what is an outcome social justice outcome is social justice because 
सोशल जस्टिस मीन्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग सोशल गुड्स इन सोसाइटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सोशल गुड्स इन सोसाइटी ही नेवर सेड बिकॉज ही नेवर टोल आउट द प्रायोरिटी बिटवीन प्रोसीजर सब्सटेंटिव जस्टिस बिकॉज ही नेवर टेक द नेम ऑफ सब्सटेंटिव जस्ट इट इज वी हु आर एनलाइजिंग रोल्स सो ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन हु वी आर स्टैंडिंग बिहाइंड वेल ऑफ इग्नोरेंस दे टूक दे टूक द सेफेस्ट रूट एंड वट दे नेबर दे नेबर टेक अ बेट दैट इन सी दे नेबर सेट दैट इन ए फ्यूचर जो सोसाइटी वी विल गेट द मैक्सिमम थिंग बट दे सेट दैट मिनिमम इन अ मिनिमम कंडीशन मैक्सिमम थिंग्स दे नेबर इवन दैट सेट दैट इवन जस्टिस डजन मीन्स दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ मैक्सिमम थिंग वी विल ड्रॉ फ्रॉम सोसाइटी वेन वी विल बिकम रिच सो देर फॉर इन वेरी बिगिनिंग आई हेव सेट दैट रोल्स नेबर थॉट for to become topper rolls considered himself as a bank bencher so being a bank bencher what maximum goods we need that is the basis of entire principle of rolls in justice marxist always in our syllabus it is in communitarian criticism of rolls so we will see communitarian criticism but look marxist says that rolls is a capitalist Marxists say that Rawls is a capitalist, and Rawls try to cover up the fundamental division which exists in society. And Marxists say, look, how a money can forget that he is the richest person of India, and how we can forget that we are struggling for our survival. And look, entire veil of ignorance is means. Rawls avoided the basic disparity, basic social economic disparity which exists in society. So, therefore, what communists say that this is the capitalist propaganda, and capitalists are very clever, and and they evolve a method for the fooling the people. Look, even how a poor person can forget his status in life? Oh my God, how how it can happen? Even classes, even society is already divided in the two opposite classes, and even contract. And how will I feel once contract is possible? In a inequal society, contract is not possible. And remember, critics say that Rawls wanted to justify the market economy. Simple thing is that Rawls wanted to justify the market economy on the name of this propaganda, this veil of ignorance, procedural justice, and necessarily he is defending. the capitalist economy that is view of critics and and look that is view of critics and therefore some critics say that look in india what happened after liberalization after 25 years of liberalization rich is becoming richer and poor is even in a very much of distress so people say that look the practical condition so next heading is communitarian criticism of justice communitarian criticism of justice this is specifically mentioned in your syllabus because even there is several criticism of rawls because you know that marx is criticized and feminist also criticized feminist is a look rawls rawls is a patriarchal feminist says that rawls is patriarchal because rawls assumed that family is just See, Rawls is more even, more interested in making justice in public sphere, not in a private sphere. And what is private sphere? Family. And see, even feminists say that Rawls says that Rawls says that people came out from society and entered into contract. Feminists say that we were cooking the meal. Females say that we were left behind in the homes. we were cooking the meals we didn't participate in the contract no we didn't participate so therefore this principle is not applicable for the so it is a patriarchal in nature so feminists out rightly rejected rawls and marx said marx has said that look capitalist propaganda veil of ignorance just like in movies you look how how बार बार देखो है ना वट बार बार देखो देर इज लेक ऑफ ए टी एम वट बार बार देखो इन अपसेंस ऑफ ए टी एम वॉट वी कैन डू बार बार देखो ए दिल मुश्किल एंड लाइफ इज इन मुश्किल 
so therefore my dear friend this is all the capitalist propaganda but in our syllabus they directly mentioning of communitarian criticism but tomorrow onwards tomorrow onwards is also today